Coming to you live at 5 together with the Twitch chat once again because, ladies and gentlemen, we have something very interesting to talk about. Tier 10 Type 71. Wargaming finally released first information about Type 71 that has a couple very special features. Well, it has, number one, the hydropneumatic suspension that allows you to get more gun depression up to minus 12 degrees of gun depression actually and it also has one very special feature the first time ever revealed feature or introduced feature gun cooling mechanic where your standard reload time is 8.8 .8 seconds and you have 0 0.4 dispersion or you can get very very accurate sniper gun 0 0.27 if you wait 11.63 seconds on the reload now all that, I believe, deserves extra explaining, extra explanation, and all that. We are going to talk about everything in this video. We are going to look at the first specs, uh, how this tank looks like, is it any interesting? And also we have AAT-60 uh, to talk about. But at first, let's remind... Um, let's take a look at this video over here, which is going to give us... Uh, a little bit better overview how exactly this mechanic works and you are going to see this tank in action as well a little bit so this is uh, from the roadmap highlights july 2023 where they talked about new japanese heavy tanks let's have a look the new line of tanks under development will be very different from the current japanese heavy tanks that end in the type 5. so it starts from uh, tier 5 chi he this is where you need to collect some experience. Mitsu, Type 3, Type 4, Type 57, Type 68, and Type 69. Tier 10, type Japanese Heavy Tank. one line will look far this more one. modern and technologically advanced. And, and you can see that it is quite a big boy as well, actually. Quite a big boy compared to Type 5. Like, Type 5 is massive, legit house on tracks, house on wheels, however you say that. And it is not small compared to Type 5. They'll say, personally, I love the look of these new tanks, even as an appreciator of tier nine. boxy straight line designs. This is the Tier 8. The new tanks will combine mobility and protection and feature adjustable hydro pneumatic suspension on the higher tier vehicles. More importantly, of course, they will be equipped with a cool new gun mechanic. The gun cooling mechanic gives you a choice of either firing quicker with regular accuracy or waiting a little longer before firing and being rewarded with noticeably improved default accuracy. The cooldown time is slightly longer than the reload time. Yes, and uh, they say quite significant extra accuracy, but you get a lot better accuracy. Like on the uh, Type 71 from 0 0.40 down to 0 0.27, but almost 3 seconds extra reload. Or not reload, waiting time. Being rewarded with noticeably improved default accuracy. The cooldown time is slightly longer than the reload time. Mm -hmm. Default accuracy of these heavies will be comparable to other heavies of the same tier with the mechanic applied to certain vehicles of the line. Combining this new gun mechanic with adjustable suspension systems, you should be able to experience a different type of gameplay than what you would normally expect from a heavy tank line. The goal for these tanks is to be versatile, fun and not frustrating to play with or against. You will see more information as these tanks head to super test during September and as we get ever closer to their release after the British Wheeled Medium Vehicles. Okay, so we have British Wheeled uh, Medium tanks in the game already. Now let's take a look at the Type 71. Uh, so hopefully that video explained a little bit more or showcased how this uh, can work. Because uh, guys, keep in mind, you can fire right away when your reload is done. So uh, the gun's cooldown time is longer than its reload time. This means it has already reloaded, but the improved accuracy isn't activated as the gun hasn't cooled down. When the improved accuracy activates, the player sees a second aiming circle and that second aiming circle determines the shooting accuracy. So this is how it should work at least. Let's uh, talk about the firepower because this is one of the main things this uh, tank features, right? Uh, the new gun mechanic, how good is the firepower? 
and it has 400 alpha damage, so it has exactly the same alpha damage as Eskonk, as um, um, E5, for example, 515 with high explosive, 260 penetration with AP, 320 with, uh, I don't know which shell type it is yet, because this does not make sense right now. So something is uh, off over here, they have a little typo over here, it is either APCR as a special round, because the shell velocity 1380 on a heat round does not make sense. So either this uh, is over here as a typo, this um, shell velocity is a typo, or the shell type is a typo. Because I believe heat uh, is going to get roughly the same shell velocity as the AP round, or alternatively it is not heat, it is APCR. But uh, only time will tell how it is going to look like. And it has 60 HE pen as well. So the standard reload time is 8.8 .8 seconds, guys. Standard reload 8.8 .8 seconds. Aiming time 2 seconds. Very good, I would say. Both uh, of those things are very good. Same, uh, same uh, reload time as on E5, for example. And uh, this dispersion over here is with uh, the fully aimed in circle. And uh, as they say over here... Uh, the tank is armed with 120mm gun, causing 400 HP of damage per shot. 260 pen, 320 with premium rounds. The gun dispersion is 0 0.42 before cooling and 0 0.28 after cooldown. So you gain quite a lot of extra accuracy out of that. And uh, over here they say minus 7 degrees of gun uh, depression. This is what you have available all the time basically, but it has the same hydro pneumatic suspension, just like on STB-1, that activates when you slow down your vehicle enough, and you can get uh, up to or down to minus 12 degrees of gun depression from this minus 7 degrees. And it has 45 shells in total over here. So... This is how the firepower looks like, and uh, once again, let me open up uh, this uh, picture for you, because over here we have some extra details. So, the standard reload, 8.8 .8 seconds. Uh, do we have crew inside? Yes, with 100% crew, as you can see. And um, over here, 8.8 .8 seconds, but 11.63 uh, seconds is how long you have to wait if you want to get 0 0.27 accuracy. Over here, just like this. 0.40 is available all the time. So, in brawling situations, you can definitely use your 0.40 um, accuracy, dispersion, and just maximize your DPM, use the maximum DPM. If you are shooting at targets who are like, let's say, 50 meters away, you are hull down, you are snapshotting something. Like, 0.40 is, on many other heavy tanks, as the maximum standard accuracy as well, right? Uh, but uh, if you are going to snipe and you want to hit something, you know, from a longer distance, uh, then definitely the 0 0.27 accuracy helps. And this is like very interesting mechanic uh, to introduce into the game, honestly. Like, are you going to risk it? It's a little bit of a gamble mechanic as well. Like, you can see tank running away. Of course, many times you cannot... Uh, uh, always wait for the full aim, always uh, you cannot wait for the best accuracy because if tank is pulling back, if tank is running away, of course you need to take the shot. It is always better to take the shot than not to take the shot because you miss every single shot you don't take anyway, right? But uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, the uh, those are the accuracy numbers, so almost extra three seconds uh, waiting time over there. Uh, so, uh, chat said, uh, the Scarlet King says in the chat, so you lose 700 DPM if you wait for the cooldown. Yeah, you know, if you are comparing it straight uh, DPM wise, like if you are comparing damage per minute, if you only fully aim in or if you only fire as often as possible. Uh, this is, uh, this would be the case in that situation, yes, but you know, maybe sometimes you have to aim in fully, sometimes you don't, so. DPM varies in this vehicle quite a bit, I would say so. Now, talking about the mobility, definitely not the fastest tank, uh, only 35 top speed, 14 moving backwards, uh, but decent engine power, power to weight ratio, 17.5, definitely moves this tank up to its top speed at least, should move it up to its top speed relatively quickly. Mm. Sorry, need to drink some water. 
Uh, halt runner speed 30, turret 35. Not bad. Those are honestly not bad as well, but definitely the mobility, both forward top speed and reverse top speed, are a little bit uh, weak, I would say. Uh, but of course, you can't have everything in one vehicle, otherwise it would be simply broken, right? Survivability, 2200 hit points. So not the highest amount of hit points, definitely not uh, uh, a vehicle like uh, BZ-75, let's uh, say. That gets a lot of hit points or many other tanks. Uh, hull armor, 120, 70, 40. So this 120 armor, you can angle quite a bit. Do we have a little bit better angle picture over here yeah well <coughs> if you are hull down minus 12 degrees of compression this this upper blade is going to be a ricochet this upper blade definitely is going to be a ricochet on flat ground you can penetrate that 120 under angle like that should be easy penetration in the tier 10 game uh versus um or for most of the tier 10s this tank is going to see but when you are using your uh, gun depression minus 12 minus 10 degrees of compression angling the upper plate definitely it is not going to uh, be the easiest penetration turret 270 and with quite a slope guys quite a slope uh, commander hatch action do we have any commander hatch action once again let me bring up this picture not the biggest commander hatch action honestly hmm and only one commander hatch on the right side of the vehicle and very slopey turret overall I wonder how strong the gun mantlet is. Maybe 340 uh, heat, 320 heat is going through this gun mantlet. Unlikely, but, uh, you know, 270 base value. <coughs> this is definitely not very bad, I would say. So 140 on the sides, 50 on the rear side, uh, overall 70. So, uh, well, can't use some side scraping maybe, but not that much. 70 millimeters is <coughs> quite weak side armor, actually. 120 hash, for example, can easily go through that. Uh, also, 400 meters view range, and it has very, very weird crew layout, guys. No loader, but it has commander, gunner, driver, and radio operator. So this is Type 71 Tier 10 Japanese heavy tank. Many, many people were waiting for more information about this vehicle. This is what we have uh, so far, introducing this new mechanic as well, and now we know at least the first... Uh, guys, keep in mind, of course, that everything is subject to change... chains. Uh, sorry, yeah, you can laugh me in the comment section, because I don't know how to pronounce that word. I don't know, it's just my tongue, guys. Everything is subject to chains. Chains? Cha change? You get my point! Super test. They can tune it. They can tune it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I still do not know which ammunition type. Oh, like over here. You can see over here. Oh, uh, there, it's, uh, there it is. So it says APCR. So most likely the uh, shell velocity is actually for APCR and not for heat as they showed. So the infographic or the picture over here seems to be a little bit off on the uh, Type 71, <coughs> which shows the heat. But, you know, this shell velocity simply does not make sense. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about Type 71. Are you excited about that? Are you hyped about this vehicle? What are your first initial thoughts about Type 71? Uh, next up, let's move on to the AAT-60. And they say it is a tier 8 American premium medium tank with a low silhouette and good camo values. Is this going to be the... Uh, Counter for the uh, Porask, who can switch between medium tank roll and light tank roll, just like that, with a little equipment setup. Equipment loadout over here. Let's have a look. Uh, AAT-60. This is, by the way, the first time I have ever heard about this tank. I didn't know it is in Super Test. I have never heard anything about that. You know, usually we hear at least the vehicle's name somewhere uh, being tested by someone, but this is actually the first time I heard about that. 320 Alpha, 420 with uh, uh, AE, 53 AE pen, 230 APCR. Okay, this once again seems to be a bit weird. Does <laughs> War Gaming, War Gaming, fix your infographics. What is this? This then gets two premium rounds. This is uh, premium color, premium round color for APCR. 
And this is premium round color for heat. <laughs> Does this have <laughs> two premium rounds? Anyway, let's uh, just say standard round penetration 230, premium round penetration 285. And uh, 1150 shell velocity 1945. So it has 8.7 second reload for 320 alpha, 2.3 second aiming time, 0 0.37 dispersion. So not the most accurate gun and uh, not the uh, highest dpm minus 10 degrees of gun depression 15 degrees of gun elevation it can carry 60 shells in total and it seems to be very small like if you look at the picture it seems to be kind of small and they said as well uh, low silhouette and good camo they didn't share us camo values in this picture at least <coughs> so we'll have to wait uh, if it is any good if this is going to be one super annoying Stealthy tank like Parask as well. At least it doesn't have the double shot, right? Double shot autoloader. Mobility, not the fastest tank either for a medium tank. I don't know why Americans uh, just uh, do not find um, a way to make tanks a little bit more fast, right? 44, top speed, 22, uh, moving backwards. Reverse speed is, you know, pretty nice. 17.4 uh, power to weight ratio. Almost the same power to weight ratio as T Type 71. 40 hull rotation speed, 45 turret rotation speed. It has 100, sorry, 1250 HP. Guys, hit points. And uh, let me go back over here. So they say the AAT60's main drawback is its weak armor. What is weak about 120? 80, 50 on a medium tank that has such a slope as well. Or are we looking at yet another typo? Wargaming, fix your infographics. Or what is this? This slope and 120 armor in tier 8. This has to be a typo. 190, 90, 40 in the turret. And the turret seems to be mostly a gun mantlet as well. Maybe the rest of the turret, maybe this 190 is just, uh, you know, inside the gun mantlet and the rest of the turret is like 10 or whatever. But uh, at least what, uh, based on the information we have, the 120, 80, 50, that's, that's, not, that's not very weak in my opinion. 390 meter view range as well. And this tank has five crew members. Where do you fit all those guys? Commander, gunner, driver, radio operator, and loader. So this is AAT-60, upcoming tier 8 premium American medium tank. Two vehicles covered in today's video. And oh, by the way, quickly before we go from the armor patrol, we can see that the BZ721 has already been tuned, rebalanced a bit. So this is, or this was the tank that was faster than light tanks. As fast as EBR going up to 90 km per hour drop speed with Bond Turbo and all the field mods in the first iteration. What we covered actually roughly one week ago or something like that. And we can see that the mobility has already been balanced a bit. Maximum forward speed from 50, standard 75 in the turbo boost mode, which uh, was stacked up to 90. Has been lowered down to 40 um, on uh, the or in the standard mode and up to 60 in T turbo mode. What you can still boost up to 75, if our calculation is correct over here now. So already they did rebalance it a bit and also added some extra uh, reload speed and uh, made the accuracy a little bit averse. And also the dispersion numbers a little bit worse over here. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Type 71. Your thoughts in the comment section, please. And uh, this is... Uh, our news episode live at 5 done because it is almost 5. It is 5.42 now after we are done with this video. Have a good one. Enjoy your weekend. Stay awesome. Stay sexy. Stay naked. Take care. And bye.